Hi everyone, in today's YouTube video I am going to show you how to order numbers up to 10 million with my tips and tricks. Let's learn it and let's learn it now. So in front of me I have one, two, three, four, five numbers and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in order from the smallest to the largest. Okay, now before I even start to put these numbers it, from smallest to largest, I need to think about what all of these numbers are worth. So if I start here with the right hand column, all of these numbers are the units. So that must mean all these numbers are the tens, all these numbers are the hundreds, all these numbers here are the thousands, and all of these numbers are the ten thousands. Okay? Now, out of all those numbers, the number that is furthest to the left is always the number that is worth the most. So, f this five here is worth a lot more than this eight is, even though the eight is a bigger number. This five, because it's in the ten thousands column, is actually fifty thousand, and this is only eight. Okay, so you need to think about that. When ordering a set of numbers, always look at the number on the left first. So I'm going to go all the way to the left and take a look at all these numbers in the 10,000 column. So I have a 5, a 5, a 4, a 5, and a 4. So then I need to think, well, which of these numbers is the smallest? Well, I have a 4 and a 4. So that must mean this number or this number will be the smallest, okay? But I can't decide that until I've checked the rest of the numbers. So I need to check the rest of these numbers to find out which one of these two is the smallest. So when you've found the two numbers that could be the smallest, then you, turn, then you go one digit to the right. So I've checked the 10,000 number. So now I'm going to check the next digit on the right, which is the 1,000 column. So here I've got a 7, and here I've got a 7. So it's a tie. So if it's a tie, then I go to the next column. So this is the hundreds column. So in this column, it's got a 5, and in this column, it's got a 5. It's another tie. So if it's another tie, then I need to go to the next column. So here's an 8, and here's a 3. So is 3 or 8 smaller? Well, 3 is smaller. So this here, this number here, 47,538, is the smallest. And I know, because none of these other numbers have a 4 at the beginning, I know that this here is the second smallest, 47,583. So now I go back to the three numbers that, I had, that I've got left. So here's a five, here's a five, here's a five. It's a tie. So I go to the next column, seven, seven, seven. It's another tie, so I go to the right again. Four, four, eight. Well, this has got an eight in it and these two numbers have a four in it so this is actually a bigger number so that must mean that this number is actually the largest okay these two numbers both have a four in the hundreds column but this has an eight so this must be the largest so i can write that down as the largest number so because these two are tied i now need to look into the tens this has got an eight and this has got a three. So three is smaller, so this must be the next smallest number, 57,438. And then this one here must be the second largest. But what should I do if I have, if I need to order numbers but they have different amounts of digits. So this number has one, two, three, four digits. This number has one, two, three, four, five digits. 
This number has one, two, three, four, five digits. This number has one, two, three digits. Well, you do exactly the same. You just look at the units, you look at the tens, you identify the hundreds, you identify the thousands, and you identify the ten thousands. Then we start again from the left, and I look at what digits I have. I have a one and a one, so it's a tie. But because these numbers both have a number in the 10,000 column, these two must be the largest. This number here does not have a number in the 10,000s column, so that must mean it has an invisible zero. But you'll probably know that no number, unless it's a decimal, starts with a zero. This number here, 568, okay, it has nothing in the thousands column, and it has nothing in the 10,000s column. But as you know, a number cannot begin with zero unless it's a decimal. So, one of these two numbers is the largest, one and a one. So let's go to the next column, which is the thousands. We have a two and a five. Well, the five is bigger than the two, so this one must be the biggest number, one, 15,126. So that must be the second largest number. Okay, now I need to battle it out between this number and this number. Well, if I start with the ten thousands, this has nothing in this number has nothing in the ten thousands column. This has nothing in the ten thousands column. This number does have a number in the thousands column. This number does not. So this number must be bigger. Five thousand six hundred. And 28. This number here, 568, must be the smallest. Hope that video did learn you something today. If it did, then please smash the like button. And if you would like to see some more maths videos aimed at Key Stage 2 children, then please hit that subscribe button. Catch you in the next video.